Welcome to another Woodworks demo. In this demo, I'll be showing the new Boardmaker plugin, which may ease up designing woodworking projects in SketchUp. The Boardmaker automates three steps that would otherwise be done manually using different tools and combines them into a single step to make boards. So without further ado, let's jump into modeling a site table. Using the plugin, I'm going to draw a rectangle I'm going to type in 2 comma 2 to make it 2 by 2 um, and it creates the rectangle. Uh, next step uh, with the plugin is uh, you can just pull it up to give it a uh, 3D representation. So I'm going to pull it up a little bit and I'm going to type in 18 to pull it up 18 inches. And I'm going to click enter and what you can see is that it's creating um, a 2x2x18 two by two by board which is actually a component and you can see the component here and it's called board and this is a regular component uh, which you can uh, edit like uh, any other component in SketchUp so for this uh, for this particular case I'm gonna go into a component edit mode and I'm gonna taper the um, bottom of this board which I'm going to use for the legs so I'm gonna taper it on uh, both ends I'm gonna taper it one inch in each direction so I'm just typing in one and clicking enter to move it one inch to the side and uh, I'm going to push the top straight up uh, four inches to give me some room for the joinery. And there you have it. This is uh, the leg component. Now to make the four legs, I'm going to uh, create um, an assistance uh, shape, which in this case I'm just using a rectangle, a 12 by 12 rectangle. Um, I'm going to make this a 24 by 24 inch table so the 12 by 12 actually gives me the center point so to make the four legs I'm going to select the leg and I'm going to rotate it around the uh, what would be the center of the table I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees I'm going to click option on the Mac or the control on the PC and this is actually going to rotate a copy so now I have two legs now if I'm going to type in 3, x3 for times 3, it's actually going to uh, create 3 copies. And in this case, this uh, completes the uh, leg creation. Now I'm going to take the uh, board maker plugin again, and I'm going to create a 2 by one board. And I'm going to pull it between the two legs. And this is going to make the uh, stretchers. Or the apron and uh, as you can see it created a new component for me and uh, I'm just gonna move it half an inch inwards uh, to center it between the two legs so I just typed in half click enter it after I moved it and it moved it half an inch and I'm going to duplicate it with the rotate tool just like I did with the legs around the center of what would be the table I'm going to rotate it to copy 90 degrees and I'm going to type x3 to copy it three times and there you have it, I have the four legs and the four aprons now uh, I'm going to work a little bit on the joinery using a different plugin uh, to make it a little bit more visible I'm just going to turn on the x-ray for face style so you can actually see what's inside the uh, joinery and I'm going to use the uh, mortise and tenon plugin I'm going to make the uh, tenon depth half an inch the offset a quarter of the uh, thickness of the board and I'm going to have eighth of an inch for the mortise glue axis and I'm just going to click my parts and create my joinery and fairly straightforward now since these are all components, I don't need to click all the joinery, I just need to click uh, the two ends of each part, and I'm all done with that. So I'm going to 
turn off the uh, X-ray mode. Well, this is kind of like uh, an add-on, so I'm not saying necessary, but just a nice thing to have if you are working on joinery. So I'm using the board maker again, and I'm making the top. I'm just clicking the two ends of the uh, legs, and I'm going to make it a uh, one and an eighth uh, thick, and I'm all done. That wasn't too bad. I can delete the uh, helper rectangle. And as you can see, I have a component for each of the parts. So none of them are glued or acting weird. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.